Hey everyone, it's Linnea here for Ink on 3. Today I'm just going to be using a couple of stamp sets along with some Atelier inks and creating a very simple card. I love the Holiday Wreath stamp set because this wreath can be used for a variety of things. It can be used for a, a winter holiday like Christmas or Valentine's Day, springtime, summertime, anything. Today I'm going to be using some kind of spring and summer colors and I'm also going to be pairing this wreath with the Lovebirds stamp set and just creating a simple thinking of you card. So I'm just laying out the stamps that I'm going to be using on my card. I like to kind of lay everything out before I ink anything up. That way I know where my card is headed. I'm going to start by inking up that wreath from the Holiday Wreath stamp set using Ink on 3 Blackout Hybrid Detail Ink. And then I'm going to use the fill-in portions along with some Atelier Mini Ink Cubes to fill in these spots. Now I did leave my wreath stamp on the lid of my Misty because I'm going to re-stamp this. When you stamp over an image like I am doing now, it kind of dulls that ink. And I wanted the black to be the most um, the blackest black that it could be. So I'm leaving that in place while I'm inking up my other areas. So for those leaves, I used a goddess green. And now I'm going to use some peacock blue for the berries to kind of create some little blueberries. And then I'll add some additional berries just to kind of fill in that open space with bee sting yellow. And once I have all that done, I'm going to ink up my wreath again with the blackout hybrid detail ink and stamp that right over top. I'm going to do that same technique here with the birds from the Love Bird stamp set. This is another layering stamp set. So I'm stamping out both of those birds so I can have them facing each other. And then these birds have all kinds of little fill in pieces. So I'm going to be using um, a different color of Atelier ink here. I thought about using the peacock blue, but I went with the Trinity teal instead just to kind of give a little bit of variation and help these birds stand out from the background. I'm filling in the rest of the birds here. I used the top portion of my Misty to stamp part of the wing and the tails of the birds because I wanted to use that bee sting yellow, but I wanted to stamp that a couple times to really saturate that yellow color. And then I used a little bit of sweet petunia pink on the tips of their wings. I'm laying out my card. Nothing is adhered here, but I'm laying this out so that I know where to stamp that thinking of you sentiment. And once I get that lined up perfectly, I'm going to use Blackout Hybrid Detail Ink and stamp that in that nice crisp black ink. It's not a card from me if it doesn't have some spatters in the background. So I'm going in here with a pink chrome colored um, shimmer watercolor. It's like a, it has a lot of sparkle and I'll show you that in a minute here. But I just added some quick sparkles and I hope that you can kind of see once they're dry how shimmery and sparkly this is and it really just adds a nice touch to the background. Plus if you smudged your ink like I did and you had to kind of fix a mistake, those ink spatters help to cover that up. I added some foam tape behind the birds and I'll just mess around and get those adhered down. I'm going to figure out the spacing and then I'll press those down and that is my completed card. Thanks so much for watching this video. I have listed and linked the Ink on 3 products that I used below in the video description so you can find the products there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!